Roostus and Annis and the Cheerless Curse, part eight. Um, one more, one less finger. Three on one hand and five on the other. Hey, oh, there you go. It's kind of hard to do, huh? One, so, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, Roostus and Annis and Feasty decided it was time to leave the chumming bird woods. Annis was reluctant to go. Reluctant um, is a word that means it was she didn't really want to go. Um, but they decided that it was time to leave because they had a mission to complete. So they went out on their way. They walked through the rest of the forest and then they came to a great meadow which is an area with grass but no trees. And up in the distance, they could see a mountain. Is that Mount Poyo? said Roostus. Mount Poyo? What's Mount Poyo? I think it is Mount Poyo, said Annis. What's Mount Poyo? Mount Poyo is where the chickens in the trees live, said Roostus, if I remember correctly. Oh, I think you're right, said Feasty. I feel like Poyo means something, but I can't remember. Maybe it's in a different language, said Roostus. And they kept walking and walking and talking as they went until finally they arrived at the bottom of the mountain. And at the bottom of the mountain there were lots and lots of trees. And they looked up in the trees and they saw chickens. Chickens in the trees. But these were not usual chickens. They all looked a lot like Feasty because they all had brightly colored feathers. Now if you remember, Feasty had colored feathers. What were her colors? Pink and green. Pink and green. And there were other colors among these chickens. There were orange and purple and blue. All bright shades of these different colors. Hello, said Annis. We're here to talk to the leader of the chickens in the trees. The chickens started responding, until finally one flew down. We are not chickens, said the leader of the chickens in the trees. We are chickupines. What's a chickupine, said Feasty. Feasty, is that you, said the leader of the chickupines. We've been waiting for you. Waiting for us, said Feasty. No, not for all of you, just for you, Feasty. Welcome home. Home? But I live in the Crayon Caves. Well, you may live there now, said the leader of the Chicky Pines. But actually, this is where you're from. You are one of us. You are a Chicky Pine. What, what is a Chicky Pine, said Feasty. Well, a Chicky Pine looks like a chicken, but it can fly like an eagle. Most chickens can't fly very much, but chickupines can fly and soar through the air like eagles. And we have different colored feathers that we can shoot out of us like porcupines. Everybody has two different colors. One of your colors, the feathers that you shoot out, are very sharp, like arrows. And the other feathers that you shoot out have juices within them that can heal people. So you have the power to hurt and to heal within your feathers. Whoa, said Feasty. I, I don't know if that's true. I've never really flown more than a couple of feet. That's because you've never tried, said the leader of the Chicky Pines. Try now. Come with me. And he, to and he took off flying. And Feasty was a little scared, but she tried too. She tried flapping her wings. And all of a sudden she was lifting up off the ground and shooting up through the air and going higher and higher, and she was soaring on the air currents and turning this way and that, and having so much fun. Wow, said Feasty, this is amazing. Yes, it is, isn't it, said the leader of the Chicky Pines. Now, try this. Try and shoot one of your pink arrows at that target over there in the distance. You see, the Chicky Pines had set up targets to practice their arrow shooting, their feather shooting. And Feasty thought about it really hard. She thought about releasing a feather, and she thought about where she wanted it to go. And all of a sudden, 
One of her feathers popped off and shot straight towards the center of the target. Wow, great job, said the leader of the Chickupines. Welcome home. And they landed on the ground, again, next to Ursus and Annis. And Ursus and Annis. Wow, said Feasty, that's amazing. We're so glad you're finally back home for forever, said the leader of the Chickupines. Well, not for forever, said Roostus. She's just here with us to complete a mission for the Gollywomp Sneevel. Well, actually, said Feasty, I kind of want to stay. Now that I know where I'm from and who I am, I just want to stay here with my fellow Chickupines. No, Feasty, you can't, said Annis. We need you. The Gollywomp Sneevel said that we were to come here, I think, so that you could learn who you are, just like I did. But we need you to come back with us. I don't know, said Feasty, said Annis. I don't know, said Feasty. I just want to stay here. But if you stay here, said Roostus, all of La La Land will be caught by the cheerless curse, even the Chickupines here in Mount Poyo. Well, I guess I can come back and visit sometime, said Feasty. But you're right. We have a mission to accomplish. We need to get back to meet our friends in the cave of the Gollywomp Sneevel so that we can solve and destroy so that we can fix the cheerless curse. And so the friends set off back towards the cave of the Gollywomp Sneevel. And that's the end of our story for today.